everyone! Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Gourmet Kitchen set. It is from the Truly Me line from American Girl. This video is made for adults so they can get an idea of the set and whether or not they'd like to purchase it. We will be giving a quick overview of all the different items and of course taking a look at the overall quality of the set too. So I just need to remove all of the items from the box first. Now that we've removed the packaging on the different items, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the smaller accessories first. So these pieces are made out of paper or cardboard. They're definitely lightweight. They are not plastic. There's baking oats, cereal, pet food, brown sugar, and baking soda as well. There are also a few baking goods, a part of the set too. There are four chocolate chip cookies and four brownies. You can see there's icing sugar on one side and it's just a regular brownie on the other side and they all fit on the tray too. These items are definitely essentials you'll find in your kitchen. There is a bread pan and there is a toaster as well. The set also does come with a loaf of bread. This one has been sliced, I'd say three quarters, and it does fit into the bread pan. And there are also a few slices of toast, so you can place them in the toaster. There are two compartments for that. There is also a lever, so you're able to push the toast down. And when it's complete, you can press the button back up. There is also an extra piece of bread or toast, so you can finish off the whole loaf if you'd like to place all of the items into the bread pan. It's now time to take a look at some fresh fruit. So these are all made out of plastic again. There are two carriers so you're able to hold the berries to store them. There's strawberries and some classic berries too. Here we have a pot and a pan. They're both lightweight so they'll be easy to carry around the kitchen and the handles are really brightly colored too. Up next, there are four items, two bowls and two plates. I would have to say the proportion between the bowl and the plates quite strange. The bowls are quite small compared to the plates itself, but I do really like the color scheme that they've used. They have a lot of pastel items, including the blues and the pinks. And following along with the bowls and plates, the set also includes forks and spoons. I do have to say these two items are the most realistic pieces a part of the gourmet kitchen. It is sugar and flour jars and when you shake it around there's powder that moves inside of it which makes it look so realistic and something you'd find in a kitchen. There's also labels explaining one item is sugar and the other one is flour too. Up next, there is some vegetable oil, milk, and eggs. Next, we have the salt and pepper shakers. The salt is styled very similar to the flour and sugar where the powder shakes inside. Next, there is a whisk, a spoon. Even though it is meant to be a wooden spoon, it is of a plastic material, but it just has a wooden design on it. And finally, a spatula. Some more items for your kitchen, and especially for baking and cooking, you may need some measuring spoons. These ones are very brightly colored. There's green, pink, and blue, and they're all held together by a clip. A butter knife, which is quite heavy compared to some of the other sets, and some measuring cups too. The detail for these three items are so lovely. First off, there is a box. It says my recipe box on the side and over on the other side, there are some cards showing different recipe ideas that you could try and recreate. The cards do fit inside the box and the lid open and closes too. And in the middle, there is a marker. There are a total of eight spice jars included in the set and they all look identical with blue lids on the top. There is a sheet of stickers so you're able to label the spice jars to get an idea of what is inside and there are also two glasses too. The set also includes some dough, a rolling pin with the classic American Girl stars and some butter with a lid. Up next there is a yellow plastic mixing bowl and a baking tray. Both of these items are such lovely additions to the set. There is an apron with a polka dot design and there is elastic on the top so you should be able to place it on your doll and there is also a matching oven mitt too. American Girl has released multiple mixers in different kitchen sets but this one here has a really lovely orange peach coloring to match the color scheme with the rest of the set. When you press the button in the front it mixes and that's obviously used by battery but you can open and close it so you can add a mixing bowl inside. 
So here we have a clear one and there is an indent on the bottom so it doesn't move around. You can press the button to mix it. And you can also change the mixer accessory. You can remove that by unclipping it and there is another option to add in there too. And it also fits inside of the bowl as well. It just depends on what you'd like to mix. And of course that spins around as well when you press the button. I'm not sure if it does stop eventually, but you can leave it going for a while until you're happy with it. You can press stop, you can open it, and then take the bowl out. Now it is time to take a look at the main feature of the set, which is of course the kitchen. It is quite a small piece, but definitely very realistic. There are multiple drawers, so you're able to store different items. There is a trash can over there, different compartments. There is the oven over there and that opens and closes, and there is a fridge right next door too. So now it is time to see how all of the different pieces fit into the kitchen set itself. So the first item we're going to be placing away is the cutlery. There is a cutlery drawer at the top, and everything seems to fit really nicely. You can place any kitchenware in the open compartments, but I'm going to be placing the cups, the bowls, and the spoons there. So the cups do fit nicely, they just touch the top of it, but they do store in. And then underneath that, I have the plates and the bowls too. And in order to see if the baking tray does fit into the oven, I will be opening the door up here and I'll be placing it inside. I have added some cookies on top and everything does seem to fit and you can remove it as well. And the next compartment is the fridge and I really like how the door is clear so you're able to see what's inside. So first off, I'm placing the fruit in the bottom compartment shelving area. So there's the berries and then over in the top compartment, there's the eggs, the milk, and of course there's some more room for the butter in the front too. There are two larger sections to store more items over in the side of the kitchen. So on the top, I'll be placing the toaster down and right underneath we have the mixing bowl and some accessories too. And the largest section is in the back of the kitchen and that is meant to be for the mixer, but I'll be adding the mixer on the top of the counter. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the sizing. There are multiple features here. So there is a hook right next to the counter to place the hot pad so that stays and it doesn't fall down. I'll be removing the packaging on that, but that is a bell. And there's also a section underneath where they have some pet food and you can remove it as well. But here we have the food on one side and the water on the other. And both of them do have compartments to store and I'll just place that back like so. And here is the bell. It is quite small and it does make noise too. A lot of the kitchen does not come set up, so that means you'll have to attach a lot of the accessories. So first off, we'll place the pantry down, and there are smaller indents on the counter itself, so you know exactly where to place it, and you'll just have to push it down so it clicks in place. Let's see how all of the accessories store inside of the pantry. So in the top shelf, we'll place one of the larger boxes. That's the cereal. It does seem to touch right at the top, but it does fit, and then we also have the baking oats right in front of it. You can see the box is a little bit smaller for that one and there should be some room for the baking soda too. Up next there is the brown sugar that does fit really nicely and I'm going to go ahead and add the olive oil and the flour next to those. There is some leftover room to add in the sugar and the recipe box too. There is a board right next to the pantry and it has a grocery list. There's chocolate chip, bananas, there's carrots and celery, and I really like how the milk is crossed out. It makes it look realistic. You can actually write on it, but it's a nice feature. And I'm just going to add the marker in its holder. And there is enough room next to the pet section to add the pet food box too. Over in the back of the kitchen, there is a hook to hold the apron. Over on the stove, you can add some of the items. Here is the pot. You can see the proportions do look realistic and I'm adding the plastic spoon. An item that is definitely missing over the sink is of course a tap and that is included in the set. You just need to attach it yourself as it's an extra accessory piece. I'm going to go ahead, face it to the front and you can also remove it from the clip too. This section of the kitchen is also looking quite empty as well. Here is a pole. I'm going to go ahead and place that into the insert. And you're just meant to display a few spices and salt and pepper that you might have for the kitchen itself. 
Here is the rack and it is quite sturdy and heavy compared to some of the other items in the set so if you'd like to display some of the kitchenware it will definitely stay in place. There are also hooks on the back and the front so you can display multiple items and you can choose how you want to style it. And of course you can choose to display it however you like but I'm just going to be adding some of the items that are included in the set. So there is the measuring spoon and the spatula and right in the middle I'm going to be including the frying pan. I do really like how a lot of the accessories do have a section so you're able to attach it to the hooks. And then the whisk and finally the last item over there is a small little measuring cup. There is a do-it-yourself feature with this gourmet kitchen set which I do think is great. There is a sticker sheet so you can add all of the different spices on the actual spice jars itself and there are a few extras so you definitely can choose which ones you want to add. The last sticker that I'm adding here is rosemary. I do love the color scheme of all the stickers. There's a green one, an orange one, and a pink purple one. These stickers down below are for the board and it's just a couple of extra to-do list items. Let's go ahead and add some of the condiments to the spice jar. So there's salt and pepper. And then as for the rest of the space, I will just be adding the rest of the spice jars. There is plenty of counter space over here, so I'll be placing the bread pan and the butter knife too. Over on this side, there's even more counter space, so the mixer will go right over here next to the tray of brownies. And to make a realistic kitchen setup, I will be adding the dough with the rolling pin to look like some baking has begun in the kitchen. The set also comes with a chair. It is a lovely light purple color to match the rest of the pastel colors used in the rest of the set. It is quite heavy and it's really great quality. It is not made out of plastic and I do really love the detail on the back of the chair. The retail price for the Gourmet Kitchen set is $250 US dollars. Even though it is quite expensive, I would recommend it. The quality is amazing on this set, the details are so realistic, and the features of it definitely make it look like a real gourmet kitchen. So thanks for watching!